YouTube, what is going on? Chris of Journals, Comics and Pop Culture. And guys, the day is finally here. And you guys are currently sitting in the dark with me. But that little bit of light, that is where all the magic happens. I'm actually sitting out in the garage area, uh, standing in front of the door to the magical room. So are you guys ready to go in with me? Let's do this. And here it is, Cherno's Comics Hero Cave. So, we got a bird's eye view, and we are going to take this one step at a time. So let's go ahead and start from the door. This was the door that we entered, and again, this room is part of my garage. My dad and I, uh, almost five years ago now, built these walls here because the garage as you saw there's a little bit on this side of the door you enter from the house right here you go in the door there's a couple steps you stand right here I built a pocket door that opens on this side of the wall that goes into the laundry room and there's more garage behind there okay so you come into the door there it is the back side of the door we have an awesome Star Wars dartboard the other side is the Sith side this is the Jedi side. Um, so you come in. There's the door to the left. You got the bulk of the room. Let's start on this side though, guys. So you come in. And right behind the door is you have this awesome bookshelf. This bookshelf had been sitting in my garage. My A friend of my mom had it and donated it to us. And it was sitting in my garage for at least like two years. And I finally put it in a couple months ago. Got a whole bunch of Star Wars decorations. Uh, sitting on top of it. Got my talking and movable Yoda, Kylo, and then we got little uh, Star Wars figures. And then, of course, we have some trade paperbacks, some more Star Wars figures. Got some Hot Wheels in there, Marvel trade paperbacks, Independence, DC. Uh, then we got some supplies and some comic books. So I, I've been trying to organize a lot of my supplies uh, over on this unit. I have this uh, Life magazine from 1968 that's uh, the widow of Martin Luther King at his funeral. So I'm going to find a, a real cool place for that, actually. I have my um, uh, Voltron toys back there. I used to have them hanging up, but unfortunately right now they're just ha ha hanging over there. Uh, for you baseball fans, this is uh, like 1 in 100 uh, Matt Cain perfect game. Uh, bat that he picked when he pitched the perfect game in 2012 San Francisco Giants really really special uh, posters right here this was my first act of kindness from none other than OMG Chris this is some Mindy Wheeler art at the time I was reading um, Batwoman uh, New 52 and it, I, I talked about it in one of my first ever videos, and Chris was watching, and he got me two signed images uh, of some Mindy Wheeler stuff, just amazing work. I still have the letter that he sent with it. It's actually the letter that he sent. He, I actually have a couple letters that he sent me in the back of the bag of the Daredevil 230, which has his letter that they published. Up here we got some Secret Wars uh, 11 by 17 signed by Mike Zett. Lightsaber action hanging up there. And then we go over here and we have my kids area. Basically, this is the gamer area. This couch I got for $25 at Ashley Furniture. No lie. And the reason being because it was half of a sectional. They shipped it, but only half of it. So the other sectional piece would have been right there. And because this uh, cushion right here supposed to connect to the other part of the sectional i just put a crate under there 25 bucks can't go wrong i mean look at that super awesome couch fit right in here perfectly this is their gaming area my son my little guy just had been saving up his allowance money um and bought himself th these cool uh, uh gaming keyboard and mouse he plays it with the xbox but um he wants to save up to get an actual uh pc console Let's go on over here. Uh, this is the window uh, door on the window to the door outside. My mom made these for me, uh, custom uh, Marvel uh, curtains 
pretty sweet, pretty awesome. And over here we have my movie wall, uh, movie poster wall, Venom, Guardians, Back to the Future, Dark Knight Rises, Wonder Woman, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Thor, Rogue One, and then right here is my pressing station. Basically, this table under here works as my, uh, my seat. Got some supplies under there. Uh, R2 is my helper, uh, my pressing helper. And this is where it happens. This uh, uh, limited edition uh, Adidas Black Panther box holds all the books. These are all the books that I have that need to be pressed. So they're here waiting in line. Got some cotton ball and some cleaning stuff for everything to go in there. And uh, yeah, I wonder what's in there right now. Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember. Oh, you know what it is? It's an adventures, adventure into fear, I believe. So that's that area. I've got some Star Wars hanging out over here. Um, th these are my oldest son's comma books right here in those two uh, long boxes. So we have a transformer wall. I'll be able to show more of that when we get on that side of the couch. But as you can see here, we got a whole bunch of transformer figures that have not been opened, obviously, and just uh, hanging on display. Got more Star Wars up there. I try to organize uh, the top of their um, entertainment center. I got my, oh, I got my uh, 84 Voltron figures. I only have the Black Lion and the Green Lion. And I got a bunch of uh, movie popcorn and cup stuff. And then my kids have a couple of their trophies in here. Most of those trophies are in uh, their rooms. Oh, before we go over any further, actually, I wanted to show you guys in my little pressing station. I have an awesome Teenage Mutant, Tur Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles poster. This is uh, something that I had since I was extremely little. It's from the 80s. And it stayed with me this whole time. So, uh, Anyways, back to up here, though, I have some connecting cereal boxes. Some DC stuff. My Endgame and uh, Infinity War posters. Some Minecraft and uh, Transformer stuff. Got a guitar. And a little drum. So we can bongo out. All right, guys. Now to the meat of the good stuff here. So before we actually get into the comic books, let's take a bird's eye view look of this wall. And you can see here that this is all Star Wars out on this wall. Now, some of you that may be familiar with my room and, and my older room tours, this is a big change, this wall, because these units were not here before. Um, I had these units in my garage, uh, basically used for like laundry stuff. And then one of them was, uh, they were actually on the other side of this wall. And then one of them was kind of over in the garage area, just having random crap laying on it. And I always wanted to bring them in here, but uh, I just, I never did. I had a bunch, I was utilizing them for laundry, but I had this other wood shelving unit that I just sanded down um, a couple years ago. And had it kind of sitting in the garage part, just not being used. So I was like, you know what? Let me bring that over here, stack that up against the wall, and bring these in here for my comic books. And it worked perfectly, man. I mean, I have so much more room on my floor over there, which you guys can see in a minute. But before we look at the actual comic books, let's look at the Star Wars wall. So some of you may know from my previous room tours about my uh, episode uh, posters. I have every single one now. So let's look at those. We got starting with the prequels. And no hate involved here. You know, we all have our qualms with some of the movies. We love some. We might not love some others. But guess what? It's Star Wars. And I'm repping for all of them. Phantom Menace. Attack of the Clones. Sorry about the glare too. Revenge of the Sith. New Hope. Empire Strikes Back. Return of the Jedi. Force Awakens. Last Jedi. And Rise of Skywalker. So... I'm so happy to have a whole lineup posters on the wall. I got the Star Wars clock up there. We got some uh, toys and collectibles up here. Got some cereal boxes in the back. Some Campbell's Soup stuff. Uh, 40th anniversary Darth Vader back there. Um, some uh, Disney exclusives or, or Disneyland and um, Disney Store exclusives. Some black editions. So, uh, and then down here... I utilize the top of this unit for more Star Wars display stuff. 
Millennium Falcon, got um, uh, Kylo's mask. That actually, if you put it on and talk, it makes you sound like Kylo Ren. 40th anniversary. And then uh, more 40th anniversary hanging up. And then we got, I actually got a couple of these figures from Mike. Popcom, now Cobra Comics. Uh, some of, I, don't, I don't know which ones. I don't remember which ones, but I had a whole bunch. And uh, he had sent me a few as an act of kindness a couple years back. So I know, I, I, I think um, this one, uh, this uh, Obi-Wan was from him because it had the old long sticker, which I think is so cool because those of you who are a little bit older know that CVS longs used to be CVS until they were, or excuse me, excuse me, CVS used to be longs until they were bought out. So I love that. I have one that had like a KB Toy Store sticker on it, which doesn't exist anymore. And that's where I used to go to get my like Atari games and toys and stuff in, in the 80s. And I love those price tags because they're really nostalgic. All right, guys, going into comic books. So these, this is what I've been doing. My Mod podge -ing. Look at these. So this is just a, I showed this one off. Marvel. I got a really cool Star Wars one I showed off. I got a Transformer one. I got a Ninja Turtle one. And they just fit the comics perfectly. And uh, this one fitting my um, CGC books perfectly. So I'm just super, super hyped that I have been, um, you know, having fun with Mod Podge and uh, making it work to, to just fit. They display nice. Look at that. So I got a whole bunch of comics over here, obviously. Um, I got uh, some more Mod Podge boxes over here. Got a Spider-Man one. Got a random Marvel one. Those loose books are just too to read. I got a Superman one, a Batman one. And uh, yeah, so I got just tons of... I mean, I, I, I'm not going to go in all the, all the comics. This is my Thor Volume 1 run. Three boxes. I actually have a poster of Thor back there. <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah, these are some key books that I have. Uh, this is all, I'm gonna move this little chair. This is all rebirth stuff on the first and second shelf. Yeah, there's a ton of it. Um, I, I've slowed down a lot on the new DC stuff, but I got my Amazing Fantasy 15. You can still see, um... Marvel uh, wood poster poster boards. I uh, got some more Mike Zek signed um, a witch play toy and some random supplies back there. Um, before we get to the to the unit, let's look behind the couch. So this is um, just a, a two shell plastic unit here. This is basically my starting from this box. It's my Marvel. Either Volume 1s that started in the Silver Age through Bronze Age. So, you know, you got Avengers Volume 1, uh, Black Panther Volume 1, uh, Defenders, to, you know, Captain Marvel, Eternals, uh, Fantastic Four. Fantastic Four is like three boxes. Incredible Hulk. And it's all alphabetical order. Some Logan's Run. Some Man Thing. Uh, oh, I got my uh, <laughs> tape measure. Um, and then you go down here and it continues alphabetical order. And then it even continues over here to T with my, with my Thor. And then it's kind of more random because I have like some DC stuff here with uh, Superman and uh, Action Comics. Um, but then I have some uh, Spider-Man, my amazing Spider-Man stuff over here. Um, so, and that's just two boxes of amazing Spider-Man. Oh, by the way, down here is independent. I got Image and other independent uh, publishers. Down here I have some random stuff like uh, uh, Sensational Spider-Man. Oh, more Star Wars stuff. This is all Star Wars stuff. Um, 
And then, uh, I don't know, random stuff down there. And then we got what's going on against the wall here. And this is the um, transformer wall. So I, I have kind of a lot because you can see this bottom shelf right here is, you can't even see them. There's so many, uh, you know, it's hard to keep them all on display to be able to show them all. So I got to probably hang a couple more up, but these are the beasts up here. Armada Megatron, Thundercracker, Skywarp, Starscream, Megatron, Ultra Magnus, Hot Rod, Rodimus Prime, Optimus Prime, Soundwave. That's the cream of the crop up there for the most part. And then uh, my my kid has his toys in the backpack. So you got a Star Wars backpack, it's Star Wars toys, uh, Transformer toys, DC toys, and Marvel toys. And then over here, this is mostly, um, like all the green boxes is mostly Marvel now to current. So that's basically Marvel comics from uh, 2012 to current. These are just a few books that I was bagging and boarding that I need to put in. Uh, organizing in the boxes. I don't have a space for my uh, laser discs. I got the Star Wars laser discs, original edition, and then the um, anniversary edition. It was the 20 year anniversary edition. Empire, and then Return. So I still haven't found a laser disc player, man. If anybody knows where there's a laser disc player out there, let me know. I want to watch my Star Wars movie on Laserdisc. Uh, some of you may not know. I'll go over it briefly here. The first time I ever watched Star Wars was via Laserdisc. My uncle, uh, who has my birthday, um, who is a big geek to this day. Uh, I was we, we were family hanging out at his house one time. And um, he had a room with a TV and a Commodore 64 and all these other game units and, and a Laserdisc player. And while the adults were hanging out, I went back there. He popped in Star Wars. Um, and I believe the first time I always say uh, it was Return of the Jedi, I think the one that I watched the first time. And from then on, man, I had to be like four years old, maybe even younger. Uh, I got some X Men stuff all through here. It's my whole new mutant run. Number one is with my key books, but I have uh, every issue of New Mutants one through 100 except for 98. <laughs> um, so oh, yeah, let's look over here too. This is uh, the DC wall. Got some wooden DC uh, uh, bo poster boards. Um, superhero, uh, girl, action figures. Uh, this is my my custom cover I did um, of Heath Ledger's Joker. This is for uh, Trinity Comics. Uh, Jeremy. Uh, I haven't seen him on YouTube in quite a while, but I hope he's doing good. Uh, he won my uh, 100 sub contest way back in the day. He is his favorite uh, villain, I believe, was Joker. That's just a copy of it, by the way. It's not the real book. He has it. All right, guys, let's get to the unit. I'm going to make a video this week talking about this unit, but I did build this unit myself. I made blueprints and then went at it. Um, the bottom two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 units fit long boxes perfectly. And they're divided by a you know border. You slide it out. You slide it back in, boom. The upper ones have a little more space. There's no divider. There's a little more room at the top. That way I can set up like stuff for my um, supplies. As you guys could see that, supplies. But uh, I really love this unit. Um, and then the top piece is uh, the size of basically a standard bookshelf. And uh, there's my uh, uh, portrait of myself done by the, um, you can't see because of the glare, darn it. The amazing Matilda Gothica uh, took a picture of me and, and painted this from it. So freaking awesome, man. So that obviously is there. Um, this is where the magic happens. Um, there's some more Matilda Gothica artwork. This is a custom comic I'm working on right now, a Yoda. And then, of course, collect what you're passionate about. OMG Chris. Um, now, this unit let's let's go so what i try to do with everything on this bookshelf guys is i tried to tell a story i wanted everything to really tell a story and you can see we have some big figures and small figures lunch boxes but you basically got the avengers assembling right here Hulk, cap um hawkeye 
And you got Spider-Man over here too. So he's teaming up with them. We got Big Wolverine and Spider-Man. Then we got Venom and uh, Spider-Man going at it. Got some Black Widow action with Thor. And you can see we got some uh, uh, Guardians as Guardians of the Galaxy. You got Thor with uh, Drax and Ronan going at it. Um, some Silver Surfer action in the back. Big Cat. We got some Civil War. We got the Civil War cereals. And then you got the uh, Cap and uh, Civil War uh, Cap and, and Iron Man figures blasting at each other. We got some Vision and Iron Man. Uh, we got some DC over here. Coming down here, we got some Transformers. Soundwave and Soundwave's uh, little buddies that transform into the tapes back there. Uh, more Soundwave. Soundwave's my favorite Decepticon. There's Jazz. We got a Voltron Pop. Uh, more, uh, there's uh, Galvatron. Um, there's my kids. That's a card they made for um, Father's Day uh, some years back. So that's on front and center display. Um, and then over here, we have most of my Star Wars pops. A few of these. <laughs> A-OK -okay from OMG Chris. I don't remember quite which ones. I think the Kylo Ren one. And, uh, yeah, I think... Uh, I don't remember. I, I think this guy right here, the Stormtrooper. But, um, and then we, got, we go down here. We got some Marvel action. We got Thanos. Here's Cap and Wolverine uh, having a conversation. They're just hanging out, sitting down, chilling. Some unopened toys. Spider Woman. Uh, we got we got some more kind of uh, Guardians of the Galaxy uh, stuff going on with with Nova. There's Spider Man and Iron Fist who in you know have teamed up a lot. Ahsoka first appearance. Star Wars books. I got a bunch of Spider Man essentials back there. Um. Now, over here, so now with the Star Wars toys, guys, I really tried to tell a story. So, you got, you know, young Anakin with uh, Padme and R2. You know, then you got the ships going at each other. Then you got um, Princess Leia, Darth Vader. Here you have, basically, Return of the Jedi. Um, you know, Darth Vader brings Luke to the Emperor. Over here, you got some Han action. Obviously, the, the epic who shot first. And then the bounty hunter going after Han. Boba. And then up here, we got some, uh, you know, like, uh, what? O Old Republic or not even Old Republic. But, you know, you got, you got the OG Jedis right here. And then we have, uh, there's my original Yoda. Luke. Millennium Falcon. Of course, you got the droids. Lando. Um, Chewie. And over here, we get more into, well, uh, actually, let's show this first. My name's Luke Skywalker, and I'm here to rescue you. <laughs> And we got uh, Queen Amidala. And down here we got uh, the Force connection between Rey and Kylo. Yet they don't know it yet. We got the bromance. Finn and Poe and who's creeping up behind them. <laughs> this is a custom Disney uh, droid from Disneyland. And this is a Disneyland uh, Empire Strikes Back set. I wish I had a set for all of them. Yeah, and then over here, we actually have some Hot Wheels hanging up. This is the uh, Batman vs. Superman Hot Wheels. You guys can see that. So, oh, we do have some Star Trek action. I got all my Star Trek books back there. There's even more behind the Star Trek Micro Machines. And then a Spock over here. There's my Kobe book. 
So that is my uh, my awesome shelving unit. Obviously, I do have some books, but it's more of a decorative, you know, Carrie Fisher tribute. Um, I got some more Star Wars magazines behind the figures and lunch boxes. Um, but as for the table, so I, I try to get all my books away, but I left some out just to show. Um, these are basically books that I still need to enter in my CLZ app. These are books that are entered, but I just need to either bag and board or just file away. And then over here, I just have some supplies. So as I move them down the line, uh, I have my bag, most, you, you know, most of the bags and boards that I use right there. But again, I do have some more supplies right down in here too. So I can move them here, grab from right here as well. So uh, just to go briefly through, you know, some of these comics, this is uh, alphabetical order A through Z. Got my 100 page Giants, uh, Batman. Uh, this is all, you know, like volume one stuff, older stuff. A, B, C, D, E, F, G goes down here. You know, you can see all the, the DC stickers. And then over to W, X, Y, Z. We got some new Teen Titans. And this is all Wonder Woman. Starting with... Uh, oh, it's hard to do this with one hand. There we go. Starting with Volume 1. <laughs> um... And then down here is all new 52. I keep that separate. Uh, this is just sitting here for now, but these books are to be filed away. This is all new 52 stuff. Yeah, I keep new 52 stuff separate. Um, and then, of course, Rebirth. I keep that separate as well. And then over here is more Marvel. Starting A through Z, Numbers, A, Alpha Flight. Um... Oh, these are my contest winner books sitting on top there. Um, yeah, so uh, that's going to be ending here in a couple couple weeks. Uh, I got my uh, complete run of Cap Volume 1. There's my reader copy of 100, 101. But I have my graded slab CGC copy with my CGC books. And that's alphabetical order going down through here. I have more Spider-Man stuff in here too. Um... Yeah, and then a whole bunch of X-Men stuff, obviously. Tons of X-Men. And uh, that wraps around. All my X-Men stuff wraps around over to these boxes as well. So, um, yeah. Wow, guys. That. That is the room. So you see, I got this space right here. I usually have my chair over here so I can slide that right around here. I usually film my uh, my videos. Um, well, at least I've been doing lately and in my live streams. I have my um, setup right around here. And what you guys see behind me is all this. So, But I'll be trying to make that uh, look better in the future too. But there it is, guys. Man, I've been putting a lot of work into this the last few weeks trying to get this room ready. Um, and, and here it is, man. I am so grateful to have this space. I'm so grateful I was able to work with uh, my dad and, and, and build this room and, uh, and just really have this space. It's obviously special for me. It's special for me to have to be able to come out here and share it with you guys and share with you guys. Oh, Lastly, I didn't show the, the posters that I hung up on the ceiling, actually. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm extremely blessed. There's Justice League. We got some Transformers. And then um, Infinity War. This is from the 90s, from like 1992 when this came out. I've had it since a kid. So anyways, guys, what I was saying was just I'm, I'm extremely blessed. I want everyone, everyone, you know, be grateful for what you have, you know, um, not only am I grateful to be able to come out here and share it with you guys, but um, with my kids as well. This is very special for them. It's been a special almost five years to share it with them as well. So, guys, it's been fun. Please, please, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Leave some comments. I want to let you. I want to know what you guys thought. Like I said, this is the, probably the biggest change to my room since I started my channel. So. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Thank you guys for your continued support over the years. It is for myself. It is for my kids.
but it's also for you all. And I thank you. So, with that being said, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And until next time.